All right, guys, this one's called Trooper Needs Help. Three months ago, already like four million views. So let's check it out. We've got a trooper on the ground, and that is never a good sign. Let's. Yeah, bro. Guys, what would you do if you saw a, 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 tro a trooper? Uh. Just like on the side of the road, like wrestling with the suspect or whatever, guys. Yo. I'm oh, sorry, but uh, yeah. What would you guys do? Let's take a look at how we got here and break this one down. It. No oh, snap. I didn't. I thought I didn't know if this one had a commentary, but it does. Midwest safety does have commentary, guys. It all starts with a pedestrian on the freeway, illegal in most states, including Minnesota. Normally. Dang, bro. Guys, when I walked on the freeway, a police car did get b behind me, but I made it. I made it. I'm. I'm I made it back, like, thankfully, uh, I didn't get arrested for it, bro, I didn't, did not know, no, that, this is Minnesota, I, I don't live in Minnesota, I live in California, so, yeah. It's a very easy call for police, you just give them a courtesy ride to the nearest service station, or to a place uh, that's safe, but, as you, gosh, it sucks being a pedestrian, bro, you saw how, clo how, how slowly he, he's walking compared to those cars, man, being a pedestrian is just depressing, guys. Because when I was homeless, I was a pedestrian the whole time, man. And, uh, guys, it was, uh, depressing because, like, all these cars, man, I felt like because there's cars everywhere. You know, this, this call is going to be far from easy. And the first hint of something weird about this is the pedestrian is actually walking away from the nearest gas station. The gas station or service station is actually behind him. Within seven to ten minutes or so, our first trooper arrives on scene. And is he lost? Guys, he seems to be lost as well, man. That'd be scary to be lost while, while just walking on the freeway. To help the pedestrian get to a safer location, our pedestrian now looking. But how does this escalate, guys? How does this escalate, man? Cool as a cucumber takes one final swig of his drink. He's been walking for over a mile by now. And... Yeah, bro, they got cameras everywhere in Minnesota, bro. Reading the body language, it seems the pedestrian wants to keep walking down the freeway. And it seems like the individual in question starts walking away from the trooper, and he's coming up to a big interchange here. So the trooper, <laughs> to protect everyone's safety, is going to step between him and that interchange that's coming up because there's a, a big on-ramp between I-694 and I-35W in the North Metro. So he's... For a second there, I thought he was, like, going to be drinking like a like actual alcohol but no i don't know we don't know yet guys to stop him from just walking in the traffic or crossing the freeway on ramp here and any parent or school teacher knows this expression as you can see him pointing and saying why can't i why can't you just let me do what i want and he's gonna give a little shrug here the kind of uh you're i know right because i i did not know that this this was, this was even a law guys but it does make sense to protect safety. Because it's dangerous. Not in charge of me. Uh, someone swerves, you're going, you know, the speed limit on the freeway, man. Someone just makes a wrong swerve or they don't even see you. Could be lights out. I'm going to do what I want. And here the, the, the officer is telling him no. And you can see. And he's straight up arguing with him. He moves back like, what? You're going to tell me? No. And this is where we kind of get to adult coping skills. Uh, you want to. <laughs> You want to, as an adult, develop the skills to handle rejection, to handle someone telling you, no, you can't do what you want. Anyway, here's the moment uh, you can see the trooper there reaching for his radio, asking for a second unit. 14 Metro, can you store me a partner? We get a little obstructed by the sign, but thankfully we have... Uh-oh, guys. It's not good, man. ...have another angle. Our individual... He calls for backup. You know you're in, like, you're you're in trouble, man is going to try to walk away again and get the same answer and this is where things go hands on it looks like he reaches out at the trooper and this is the point where the trooper has just had decided he's had enough and he's going to be east on and bro he went in he did not like uh you know being confronted there 694 at w we've got the exclusive dispatch audio we'll let that play out 
Metro's helping out 14. He's going to be sitting with 1-1. One, one. going to be pushed up against the squad. Troopers down on the ground. Bro, it's, a, it's like a MMA match now, it looks like, guys. Trooper does need help, though. Thankfully, he already called for a backup, though. I'm wrestling. 433 traffic. Special thanks to the dispatcher who was very aware of the situation and uh, on the radio and... Uh, he, he, this guy came rushing in. ...playing the cameras at the same time. Now, I want to be fair to the suspect in this case. At no point does he strike the officer, and I, I want to be explicit about this. He's also not accused of striking the officer. So this looks more like a matter of a bear hug as opposed to a street fight. As a rule of thumb, we actually don't publish street fights. That's the policy that we have here now. And it's, I think it's a policy on YouTube as well, guys. There used to always be, like, fights. You saw the chaser. Uh, I'm not sure they're still on YouTube. I don't want to see them anymore, though. I don't, I don't watch. Well, we did confirm the taser was never deployed. Uh, then... That's good because tasers actually do like end up causing casualties sometimes. Individual gave up and was taken into custody without injury, thankfully, without anyone being injured, and no taser deployed in this instance. But importantly, you don't have to take my word for it or the police's word for it because we actually have a third angle on this incident. Why are there so many cameras around here, bro? And they're, they're actually like capturing movement as well. It's like, uh, it's like 1984 up in here, bro. And take a look. It provides a third angle. And the benefit of some of these DOT cameras in Minnesota, of which there's about 1,100 of them, is they do provide a good sense for transparency in government and to allow citizens to see what's really happening out there. So. And that is true. What if you guys saw a trooper like wrestling with a suspect just live on on film, man? Credit to the Minnesota Department of Transportation. What is going on the 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 freeway, man? Transportation for providing this network for the citizens of Minnesota. Again, you can see it's really more of a scuffle. The officer thinks about tasing the suspect, but he gives up, and we were able to confirm again no taser deployment. And if you look at the ground, actually. But what are his um, charges, when a taser guys? Goes off, it, it bursts a bunch of confetti. You can actually see on the ground, uh, thanks to the, <laughs> the definition of these cameras, there's no confetti around. And so that's a way that we can independently confirm. No Wait, really? Confetti? No way. No taser deployed in this situation. The suspect was. He, he had a taser, like, pressed up against him, though. Arrested on charges of obstruction, failed to obey a lawful no. order, possession of drug paraphernalia and pedestrians prohibited on the highway. Next time, just let them give you a ride off the- 9,000 uh, population where this is like, what the- Freeway. If you like this video, we have another video of a pedestrian causing complete chaos on the morning commute. Like, subscribe- but This guy's on a run. It was a situation like this. State Trooper stopped and offered me a ride and complied. It took me all the way to the outskirts, outskirts of Toledo. They did what they had to do. Most lightning perhaps frightening is the fact that there's so many cameras watching. I know, right? Thankfully, I don't live uh, in the Midwest, though. Thank you guys for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next one.